What's up guys? I'm here in Sacramento at my childhood home and I wanted to spend some time with you guys while giving a tour. Just an executive summary of the interviews I recently did as a suggestion that I do executive summaries for those of you that are busy business people and just don't have the time to watch my multiple one hour interviews that I've done. So recently I've done an interview with three guys in the last week. It was with Luke, who is the RSD instructor running the Vegas Immersion Program here in Las Vegas. I also did one with Tucker Max, a three-time New York Times bestseller and a creator of his own publishing empire. And then I also did one with um, awesome couple of partners from the famous Team Archon, which is a video game team that is uh, really, really famous for Hearthstone, which is a game created by Blizzard Entertainment Group. Uh, Blizzard is the company that created World of Warcraft and they created this card game called Hearthstone. And uh, it has the fastest growing pots of any video game. So, of course you see things like League of Legends, you might hear of Starcraft and you hear about these million dollar pots. Well now, Hearthstone, even though it's only been around for a couple of years, also has million dollar pots. And I believe that it will be the largest pot game. And it is also one of the most fascinating games because I'm, I'm kind of a player myself. I'm rated close to the top 200 in seasons and my wife is also a legendary player. So let me talk to you guys a little bit about what we were talking about earlier. So if we had RSD Luke, who's an awesome guy, in terms of social circle game, networking. He has been uh, networking in with some of the most famous celebrities in Los Angeles and around the world. He oftentimes is the go-to guy in Las Vegas. And he built a social circle using a lot of the principles that I had to do to build a social circle in Los Angeles. When I was in LA, I was on the advisory board of this group called Exini. And we had amazing parties. And although that's something that is possible, most of my networking and success was using skills, and the same with Luke, that do not require money. It's just through meeting people and inviting them out on a regular basis. And then that event that you create is cooler and more fascinating than a lot of the events that are created by promoters of VIP hosts. It's a lot more personal. Just by developing this kind of escalation of fun, uh, this unique circle of fun, and making it feel more private, more intimate, and more exclusive. And we talk a lot about the access tricks to get into the elite parties and elite events. But at the same time, um, a lot of the kind of nuances of the soul circle and creating value is just developing that genuine connection with people because that's more valuable than almost anything that you're gonna be doing. If you're somebody that is really interested in taking your social circle game to the next level, Luke is also creating a program that's gonna be released later this year on just that topic. He's somebody that will always be interested in having tons of girls around and his social life revolves around him having a lot of threesomes because he has what he calls his partner in crime which is kind of like his uh, wing woman. There they go out in the field and they pick up girls together. And he's really good at it. And even when he's on solo dates, he goes out with girls on solo dates and what have you. He's somebody that will still do it, but while simultaneously doing multiple solo dates at the same time with other girls. And I guess the thing about Luke is that when you're around him, his energy is captivating. He has a lot of charisma. It's a lot of fun and entertaining. Yet at the same time, his infield skills are extremely tight. And you can tell from all the tips and tactics he shares just from watching my interview. And also, if you came down to Vegas Immersion and you saw him in the field, that'd be cool. One of the cool things I'm going to do for members of the RSD Founders Club, which is a program that I talk about networking, relationships, business, behind the scenes in RSD, social circle game, and mindsets of success, is I'll interview guys like Luke in massive detail and also bring some of my mastermind mentors to a live event at the Vegas Immersion Training Facility. It is gonna be coming up um, in July. And I'm gonna be recording the event for those who can't make it and sharing that with everyone. 
so that they can kind of just get a feel for who I am, who my mentors are, ask questions. And people who have access to forums, the Facebook apps, and um, the, Telegram, the Telegram phone app and the Facebook groups, they'll be able to ask questions and also do it in person um, if they can actually fly down to Vegas and make it. But it's kind of a cool, unique opportunity. And I also wanted to do um, a bunch of other interviews. So I did three series of interviews all on the same day and I released them one after another. I tried to kind of just let guys get to know me. A lot of people who are kind of new to the game, like when I say new, I mean people that have been following RSD for you know, 18 months or less. Well, these are people that may not have as much knowledge about me because they haven't been there when I was teaching with Tyler and teaching all these programs. So I'm kind of like this mystery guy. Well, this is uh, the area where my plum trees are. <laughs> well, um, going back to like the other interviewers, people I interviewed, um, other people would include guys like Tucker Max. Now I've known Tucker for so many years, like over a decade, almost before RSD was even created. He used to advertise on his website, we became friends social, we started hanging out in Texas, and he's an extremely intelligent guy. What's interesting is that you'll read all these crazy stories where he acts like a drunken maniac and talks massive shit to people, but he's not just a typical frat boy. He invented frat tire, which is um, a whole new movement of like frat boy humor and how to use frat boy humor to pick up girls and uh, the adventures that come with that kind of attitude and the mindsets that come with that being that kind of guy. But other than that, he also is extremely intelligent as a businessman. Um, and it's funny because we've both been attacked massively in the press and they, they try to make us sound kind of crazy. We talk about how we deal with that and the lessons we learned from being attacked in the press on not a small scale, but a major scale, yet still surviving, thriving, and actually being more successful afterwards. He's somebody that, you know, is also very educated in a formal way. You know, there's a lot of people who are in RSD that don't have the same kind of formal education like I did an MBA, he did a JD, yet we also have a lot of uh, street smarts just from like being the kind of guy that even though we had this little family background, we didn't need to rely on it. We had the ability to actually grow and build our own industry, our own company. We talk about, about our political ideologies. We talk about what we think the future is a business. We believe a lot of it is gonna be based on the automation of relationships and then most everyone's job, because technology is going to be so fluid and so powerful, is going to be about relationships and how those relationships are going to be affecting everything. Relationship building will be like the main tool as opposed to right now it might be developing a computer programming script or having software skills or something like that. And that's also why I believe that's so important to teach those relationship skills. And it has always been taught by guys who have been really established like Dale Carnegie. Yet at the same time, understanding the technological infrastructure, how things are changing, make us in a very unique position where we're going to be growing a lot of those skill sets. We, we share a lot of ideas about who we think is going to be the um, uh, likely candidate for uh, 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 you know, president or not president uh, and why the certain political candidates are um, doing things right and wrong. We talk about our thoughts about business in general, our mindsets, our personal stories, how our wives have affected our relationships and both being guys who hit the field extremely hard and got a lot of success and how that's influenced our business life. So it's a pretty uh, unique thing because most of us won't talk candidly to each other. But because we trust each other and you can tell from our attitude, we kind of say things in a very blunt and honest and somewhat explicit way that's often offensive to other people this is how we both talked. Um, and we talk like that all the time. I did a conversational class called Crucial Conversations, which is about really trying to learn how to understand people. We had this done for real social dynamics instructors and executives. And there's a scale about how much of your conversation is considered violent, which is through the explicit language and whatever. And I think that mine was extremely high and I'm trying to moderate that. Um, but naturally, it's been that way. And when Tucker and I talk, it's very, I guess, violent because it's to the point without any disregard of what we're saying. 
And we kind of did that because it's an extreme and honest view of things. You don't want to necessarily do that in crucial conversations, those conversations that have high emotions, high stakes, and disagreements of opinions. So that's why we brought these guys and helped train us on that stuff. Now the third and final interview that I want to talk to you guys about was about how we have all sorts of really interesting people that are in the video game industry. But the guys who are really like smashing it, dominating it, are guys like the owners of Team Archon. So you have a guy named Amaz in Backspace. And for those of you guys who play Hearthstone, you'll definitely know Amaz because he'll simultaneously have over 600,000 people following him on stream. And that's just one of his streams. He's been on, on his team has had other players like uh, Firebat, who won a million or almost a million dollars in a year in pots, including BlizzCon's main event at Hearthstone. And he has a, guy, a girl named Jernadia, who's a, a beautiful woman that plays um, Hearthstone and uh, other video games, which is just expressing her personality, making tons of money, like mid six figure income just off of playing video games. And um, all these interesting personalities have uh, attracted a lot of viewership and fans because they're not just playing the game, they're also conveying their personality, conveying who they are, and they're doing it in a very fun way. So I like the idea of interviewing these guys because although they're not like the typical CEO, go to their house, this house is kind of like Project Hollywood Mansion used to be, where you have everyone on the team living together, working together, and sharing ideas. It's just a, a very, I guess, modern way of doing business. When you have like a business where people travel around the world, like we have in Real Social Dynamics, well, they do the same thing for tournaments. And they have corporate sponsors. And the dynamics and stress of having to win, continually win, and always be on your ball is kind of like being a professional athlete, yet a business person at the same time. You have to negotiate with corporate sponsors, lock down contracts, win tournaments, convey your personality, and build a brand, kind of like how we build brands on YouTube. They're doing it simultaneously, but only live on on stream, on Twitch, and they upload all of it to their YouTube site. And it's extremely fascinating to me how they're able to do something that kind of parallels my business and in Real Social Dynamics. And they share some of their funny field reports because in anything there's field reports. But basically, um, I just wanted to walk around my childhood home in a 360 virtual reality environment. For those of you guys who are new to this or if you guys didn't realize this is a 360 video, you should realize that if you scrolled around on your screen with your finger or your mouse you should be able to see um you know 360 degrees around me and um, i think that's a really cool technology that we're going to get into higher quality video you can tell that the video here is not the typical like 4k cameras that we use it's more of a high definition niche kind of video and if you guys get more into virtual reality and you guys are really liking and appreciating this kind of video we're probably going to upgrade our 360 cameras Lucas showed me amazing ways to do that with uh, beautiful girls and I think that a lot of the comments I've been hearing about from subscribers to my YouTube channel I hope you guys subscribe I've been about those people that are interested in in-field 360 video footage from RSD instructors that can crush it better than anyone else and noticing all the dynamics of what's going around them, which is also going to be funny because you'll probably notice that our camera crew walking around the background, you'll notice the bartenders, you'll notice, you'll, you'll, you'll feel like you're actually there. Kind of like how I hope this kind of feels like you're actually at my house with me, hanging out just as friends. A lot of people will always know that actionable items and content is always going to be the thing that fans want the most. On the other hand, other clients are really interested in the entertainment aspect. And so it's, it's a unique balance of trying to do the two. Because when you're a personality, you kind of want people to get to know you. You want people to kind of uh, be your friend, kind of like as a remote buddy. So if we were to meet up in real life someday, you know, maybe you went to the RC World Summit in Vegas or one of our free events. All around the world, we have free events every week. And if I was there, you'd be like, hey, how's it going, bro? And we just start talking and it'd be kind of cool. And I love that about RSD and the RSD Nation community. Well, anyway, I'm really glad to be able to share with you guys all this stuff because it's kind of fun. It's kind of like my way of what Tucker and I was calling like our way to kind of work out our inner issues. For me, it was 
playing golf and doing videos and teaching and getting back into things. For him, he had to do like meditation, all sorts of other things. But I guess for me, I just wanted to get out of the box and free flow it. You know, if you guys look at uh, some of the earlier videos in my YouTube channel, I don't have like the same kind of free flow state that I'm working on developing now. If you see like more of my recent videos, like some videos I did to Venetian, there's a lot more uh, charisma that's flowing through. And I think it takes about like a month or two of really getting back into teaching to really get back on your game. And there was a time when I was teaching 270 cities and 70 countries with, and, and doing like literally a thousand programs in a year of like these little free tour events because I kind of invented the free tour and just went on a massive tour to all the cities the airlines went to. And I was just crushing it, dominating it. A lot of people in the beginning when I created this channel were like, dude, you're not very animated, kind of chill. I guess <laughs> I spend so much of my day doing business. And I, I really feel that energy and passion just talking and sharing my ideas kind of coming out now. So I hope that uh, you've had some fun on my channel and that you're here, not just for learning, but to actually enjoy yourself because you actually will learn more just by having fun and also, you'll be able to build some relationships with me and also the other members of this community of uh, subscribers and members of RC Nation. And I hope maybe even some of you guys will take the next step, join RC Founders Club and get really involved at the tribe that I'm trying to develop and uh, build like a mentorship, a team of people that are in a mastermind group just with me. Um, I'm going to be interviewing through the requests of the comments of the subscribers and also the people that are in RSD Founders Club. A lot more interviews with some really elite level people from my mastermind group, including like Entrepreneur Magazine's Entrepreneur of the Year, billionaire CEOs, um, people that are massively successful in the health and fitness world on a celebrity personality level, and many, many more from the RSD instructors and influencers of our business and my personal life. So I hope you guys have a lot more to look forward to. Share uh, my videos, subscribe. The more people I see following me, the more interest I see in doing this, the more excited I get, and the more interest I have in investing my time into making sure that this is awesome. So thanks guys for all your support, and I'll see you on the flip side.